Hey everybody, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com and today we're going to be talking about splines and downstream manufacturing processes uh, such as cutting objects on a laser, plasma, or water jet machine. And we're going to do it with this logo that you see up on the screen. Now the way this logo was created, it, it was made from an SVG file that was brought, uh, it eventually made its way into Inventor. And then in Inventor, I created a DWG file of it. And using DWG True Connect, I was able to open up that drawing file inside of AutoCAD so that we can make some uh, edits to this geometry. Uh, it's been exploded, so it's not a block anymore. And um, what you're going to see is everything on the left side of the logo is just lines. And the text on the right-hand side is made of of lines and splines and what we want to do is try and get rid of those splines so I'm going to show you one of the ways that you can use to get rid of the splines so if we zoom in here and just click on this arc you can see uh, that this is a spline instead of arcs and we would like it to be arcs so <clears throat> what I'm going to do a couple things we need to have is on first of all in our snap settings we need to, we can have as many of these on as we want, but the important ones for today are going to be endpoint and node. Node will allow us to select points, and you'll see why that's going to be important in a little bit. If we come and look at our layers right now, all we have is the zero layer and the visible ANSI. Visible ANSI is a default layer that Inventor creates, um, so that's why that is in the file. And we're going to make a couple uh, layers to help us out with this process. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the layer properties. And I want to create two layers. I'm going to call one points. And I'm going to make another one called logo. And I'm going to change the color to something that's easily seeable. So we'll use magenta for points. And for the logo, we can go with, and then we'll, we'll just use, we'll use red and see how that works out. Go ahead and click OK. <clears throat> So now what I want to do is I want to be able to replace these different splines with arcs. And to do that, I'm going to use the divide command. So I want to make sure that I'm on the points layer. And I'm going to type in divide. I could also find divide from the draw command. And that would be right here, the divide command. I'm going to type in divide to do mine. Now I want to know what object I want to divide. And I'm going to click on this spline in the D. And the next question is it wants to know how many, how many segments do I want to divide the spline into? Now, the more segments you use, the longer it's going to take you to do, but uh, the closer it's going to get you to the original shape. The fewer segments you use, the faster this process will be, but the more deviation you'll have from the original spline. So we'll go ahead and say that we want to use six points for this one. Now there's my points that, that go across here. So now we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the logo layer. And then I'm just going to use my three point arc command. And what I'll do is I'll just click on the end point, the point, and the next point. And I'll repeat that all the way around. Point, 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 repeat it, point, point. And don't forget to go to the end point of that line. So now if we come up and we freeze the points, you can see we've created some geometry that's an arc that varies from the original spline. Let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit more. And let's just see what the distance is. So we're about three thousandths of an inch off of the original, which you're never going to see with the naked eye in the cutting machine. And the cutting machine isn't going to have any issues cutting out this arc. So this is one of the methods you can use if you need to convert splines into arcs and don't have things like the express tools that are installed with AutoCAD. Uh, the express tool is flatten. Uh, in the next video, we're going to show you how you can use the flatten command to do this process a lot quicker. Thanks for watching.